On the morning of December 26, 2025, a significant agreement was signed in Manila, marking a pivotal moment for the international defense market and South Korea's growing influence within it. HD Hyundai Heavy Industries, a major global engineering corporation, secured a contract valued at 578 million United States dollars, equivalent to approximately 845 billion South Korean won, to construct two additional state-of-the-art frigates for the Philippine Navy. While the deal itself is substantial, it represents the final component of a decade-long strategic partnership. With this latest agreement, South Korea has secured a total of 12 warships for the Philippines, effectively modernizing a sovereign navy through the consistent application of South Korean naval technology and industrial expertise. This contract serves as a critical economic driver for the city of Ulsan, the industrial center of the South Korean shipbuilding industry. Amidst a period of global economic restructuring and uncertainty, the shipyards of HD Hyundai maintain high levels of activity. This specific order ensures that production lines remain operational at full capacity until at least the year 2029. By the conclusion of the current year, South Korea's leading defense firms, including Hanwha Aerospace, Lig Nex One, Korea Aerospace Industries, and Hyundai Rotom are projected to exceed a combined annual sales figure of 28 billion United States dollars. This milestone indicates that South Korea is no longer merely a participant in the global arms trade, but has evolved into a primary technological engine for international defense procurement. The preference of the Philippine government for South Korean naval architecture over established Western competitors suggests a high level of confidence in the HDF-3200 design. The HDF-3200 is a 3,200-ton multi-role guided missile frigate, specifically engineered for the high-tension maritime environments found in the South China Sea. The technical specifications reflect modern requirements for naval warfare. Notably, these vessels are equipped with a 16-cell vertical launching system capable of deploying VL Mika surface-to-air missiles, providing a comprehensive defense shield against aerial threats. For close-in engagements, the ships utilize the Gukdeni's 35mm autonomous weapon system a platform designed to neutralize emerging threats such as the suicide drones prominent in the mid-25 era. The primary offensive capability is centered on the Sea Star anti-ship missile, a sea-skimming precision weapon developed by the South Korean firm Lig Nex-1. The cumulative impact of this 12-ship partnership is extensive. The progression began with the Jose Rizal-class frigates, continued through the Miguel Malvar-class corvettes, and culminated in the advanced HDF-3200 frigates and Raja Suleiman-class offshore patrol vessels. Such consistency establishes a high degree of fleet commonality. This allows naval personnel to operate across various vessels within the fleet with minimal retraining. As the combat management systems, radar interfaces, and weapon controls remain standardized across the South Korean platforms. This interoperability provides a long-term strategic advantage, securing a steady demand for South Korean technical support, repairs, and overhaul services for decades to come. Beyond the technical data, the domestic economic implications are considerable. Each vessel requires thousands of highly skilled labor hours, primarily concentrated in Ulsan and the Gyeongsangnam Do province. The production chain involves multiple sectors of the South Korean economy, utilizing specialized marine grade steel from POSCO and advanced sensor suites from Hanwha Systems. Government statistics for the year 2025 
suggest that every billion dollars in defense exports supports or creates over 12,000 specialized jobs. This industrial growth reflects a shift in the national manufacturing base toward high-value, precision naval architecture and missile technology. The modernization requirements of the Philippine Navy under the framework of the ReHorizon 3 initiative necessitated a partner capable of delivering more than hardware. The South Korean industrial model provided a comprehensive package including rapid delivery timelines, often surpassing those of European competitors, integrated maintenance support, and industrial offsets involving technology sharing. This cooperation was further formalized during the Gyeongju Summit in October 2025, where regional leaders noted that the maritime security of the Philippines is closely linked to the broader stability of the Indo-Pacific region. As the year 2025 draws to a close, South Korea remains on a trajectory to become one of the top four defense exporters globally, alongside the United States, Russia, and France. This defense strategy succeeds by integrating the rapid innovation cycles of the semiconductor industry with the established industrial capacity of heavy manufacturing. This ecosystem has gained international recognition with South Korean equipment being deployed in diverse environments from the plains of Poland, where K-2 Black Panther tanks and K-9 Thunder howitzers are utilized to the maritime borders of the Philippines. Competition in the Southeast Asian market remains rigorous, with nations such as Japan and Turkey actively seeking to expand their presence. However, South Korea maintains a distinct advantage through its combat-proven status. The equipment is designed and tested to meet the requirements of a high-readiness environment on the Korean Peninsula. This necessity for constant vigilance drives a rigorous standard of quality and operational readiness. When international commanders utilize South Korean-built frigates, they are employing vessels developed within a culture of technological excellence and practical military necessity. The 12 ships commissioned for the Philippines represent more than an industrial achievement. They are a manifestation of South Korea's role as a primary supplier of maritime security. The agreement finalized on December 26 illustrates that the South Korean defense industry has established a global standard for naval platforms in the 21st century. Looking toward 2026, the potential for further export growth continues to expand. With the ongoing success of the KF-21 Boramai fighter jet program and increasing international interest in the Yongbogo-class submarines, the momentum of South Korean defense exports appears sustained. The nation is transitioning from a regional supplier to a strategic architect of international defense stability. The rapid ascent of the South Korean naval industry raises important questions regarding regional security balances. Is the widespread adoption of this technology a stabilizing factor in the South China Sea? The fact that the vessels protecting a neighboring nation were constructed by South Korean workers in Ulsan remains a point of significant industrial interest. Such achievements underscore a national transition toward becoming a global guardian of maritime peace through innovation and manufacturing precision. As the global community monitors these developments, the South Korean defense sector continues to define the future of international maritime security.